You could do that right there. What? You're gonna wrap my gift right there. You can't see it. That's just a box. <laughs> That's just a box. <laughs> Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I make bookish videos that come out every Wednesday. And today we are taking a look at my reading journal. Now this one I've already started. It is a Dingbats A5 dot grid notebook that I got on Amazon. This is the blue like sea creature one, but all of theirs are like animal themed. And I have ones from 2021 in here. And also, I will be continuing the same one into 2022. So this is just going to be a combination video of reviewing my 2021 reads and setting up my 2022 journal. So let's hop into it. I started this journal in, I think, February this year or April. So I have everything listed out. I like that. This book has an index for you. You don't have to like write index and then like draw all these lines. It just comes with one that's blank for you to write stuff in. So here's my 2021. I'm gonna, listen y'all, I am left-handed. I am not that artistic. So this book is very minimal. There's not a lot of art in it. There's not a lot of sketching. There's not a lot of stickers. There's not a lot of color. It's all very utilitarian. I just, if you want to see a good, beautiful, well-decorated bullet journal, I will link some videos down below for you to go see. But if that's what you're looking for, it's not this one. But if you're somebody like me who loves to have things on a page and you don't really have a lot of art skill, but you want to be involved in some kind of reading journaling, stay and watch this video because you might see a thing or two about a thing or two in my page. So I have a lot of like stickers, a lot of very simple things. I have, I will say that I think I did improve some of this um, from this year to the next year. So I'll take you through my pages in this year. Um, I haven't done my wrap up for the year yet. Today is the 17th of December so I still have 15 ish days left of December to read more books so I don't have anything of like the end of the year stuff filled in but I'm really desperate to get my 2022 stuff filled out so as you can see here's my 52 book goal for the year and I did complete that I actually finished that like maybe a week or two ago I think I'm at 54 out of 52 now but I decided not to just like add anymore I just left it and then you can see my 2021 thing going on here and then here are all the series that I've started that I have to finish so I just went through my Goodreads and like looked at all of the series that I had already started that I haven't finished and then I counted how many there were and I filled them in I actually have finished more of the Civil Wild so we're gonna add this on there and that last one doesn't come out until next year so we are on that one. I actually own these two too. So I need to get, as you can see, I'm not somebody who finishes series very good. I think I read these series like, I don't know, three plus years ago. I'm just not good at finishing series. Okay, here's my books acquired page. You will have seen this in my haul video that I posted earlier this year. This is how I know which books need to be in the haul and like which ones I once this page was full, then I did a haul and then I started another page in the back and I'll show you that. And then here's my list of books to read specifically. Like you always see those like on Instagram, like read this book for this Ted Lasso character. And then I always like forget about them. So I started writing them down here so that I can remember. And we've been meeting, well, we've been supposed to like plan to take a trip to Italy every year since like 2020 or 2019 and it keeps getting canceled but I have these books like saved for when I'm in Italy so I can read a book about Italy while I'm in Italy and then here's my to be read this is my owned TBR so these are all the books that I own um, blue highlighter means I put it on this list and then I read it uh, a strike through means that I got rid of it a blue highlight and a strike through means I read it and then I got rid of it and this is a pretty extensive list here I actually did pretty good on this and I did copy this page into 2022 and left out the ones in blue. So this is like an entirely fresh page for the new year. This is a pretty good page. I did pretty good on that. You can see that I was trying to do like color these in so they look different. And so you can like page through them on the side. But I really hate the way that looks. So I immediately stopped doing it after like three months. Okay, so this is an example of what like my book review will look like. I always do the title and then I always do the dates that I read it 
and then the rating that I gave it with these little rating stickers. And I'll show you all my stickers and stuff when we get into the part where I'm going to fill stuff in. And then I always put down my thoughts of this book before I read it. And then I write my thoughts while I'm reading it. And then after I finish the book, I come back and I write my thoughts again. So you can see, I guess, that um, <laughs> the Shadow and Bone trilogy really inspired me to start this reading journal because they're the first three books. And you saw my very empty an incomplete series that I need to finish page so you can see that I really suck at finishing series but I blew through this one in like a month before the show came out so these books are really early in the year like these are in May we weren't even in Houston yet we were still in College Station um, so you're just getting a good look at books that I have read before I really even started YouTube right now and I will at the end of this like may like list my five stars and stuff at the end. Also, not every one of these every not every book that I read in the whole year has a page because if I didn't find it to be impactful enough or meaningful enough or anything, I just didn't make a page for it. I just let myself like read it and enjoy it. Ooh, this one is incomplete. I don't know when I finished that. Let's see. I don't know if I'll be, man, I didn't do this one either. Oh, haha, <laughs> that's because I'm still reading this book. This is a book that was recommended to me from my therapist and she said, she basically was like, don't read the whole thing, it's really boring, just skim through it and take what you need. But I was like, no, I'm gonna read this book. And now I've only read 100 pages and it's been like half of the year. This book has a question mark because I started it before we moved and then we started moving and it literally took me like two weeks to read that book, so. But I apparently have a lot to say about this. I'm pretty sure this is in like my first YouTube video ever that I, I talk about it in that one, so I'll put that in a card for you guys to see. Here is Maybe In Another Life by Taylor Jenkins Reid, which this may or may not be a clue to an upcoming video. Crying in H Mart, one of my favorite books of the year. This is also uh, one of the books that I have a reading vlog for, so I'll link that up here. It took me a really long time to finish this book, as you can see, and I didn't have that much to say about it, even though I thought it was going to be like so long and fantastical that I gave it two pages, but then I barely even filled up one. If I have something like this, it's probably because I like did this incorrectly the first time and then I had to cover it with a sticker or with washi tape, but for the most part, I'm just really in like a like totalitarian style, like minimalist style for these. I discovered how to do like this written font on Pinterest. It's like the Ray Dunn font and it's really easy to do. Okay, so then I decided that I was gonna go back to, when I was fresh out of college working my first job, I was doing like these calendars every month where I would highlight and color code what books I was reading what day. And so then I could look back and see how long it took me to read each book and like what books I was reading what days. And in November this year, I decided to go back to do that. So this is the only one, I have one for November and December this year, but I have put these pages in for every month for 2022. So hopefully this is something that I'll be able to keep up with. I usually do a pretty good job of it and I'll do better with the color matching. I ran, I didn't expect to read this many books, so I kind of ran out of colors. And so now you'll see I added this line now to all of them and I think it just looks so much more clean that it has like a separation between like this like my different phases of having read or not read the book. I feel like having it separated like that between my thoughts and the category looks really nice. I saw this on somebody on the bullet journaling subreddit and decided it was a good idea. And I don't I didn't only read two books in November, but I only journaled two books in November because the rest of them I guess weren't important enough to write about so i'll link the video to brit marie was here up here in the cards somewhere and here we are in december so today is the 16th 17th today is the 17th so you can see the books that i've read this month um i gave up on we are never meeting in real life because i thought she was annoying the invisible life of addie larue um, I have a reading vlog for that coming in a holidays this is an, a reading vlog so I will link all of these in the cards once we get to their pages. Um, Forever Wild is a novella and then this book I'm currently reading even today I'm like 40% of the way through. Here's my wrap up page. This is fake hand lettering um, that I found how to do on Pinterest. You just like fake your own. I can't do it because I'm left handed which is sad but so here's the page that I'm on now so you can see. 
Um, the Invisible Life of Addie LaRue is one of the last books that I read and thought was good enough to write about. So here's my thoughts for that one and my rating. I kind of like the way the black looks, even though I always felt like it should be gold because they're gold stars. <laughs> but I kind of like the way the black looks. And then here's Malibu Rising, which I'm currently in the middle of. I gave myself one page for that. And I accidentally skipped a page somehow between this one and this one, so I just added it, even though I read this one before this. And if I run out of space but I don't want to go to another page, I just write more on here and stick a sticky note on it. So this is my um, Christmas reading vlog, so I'll link that in the cards. And then this is my, just in case I read one more book and I want to write about it, I left a blank page here. And then this is where 2022 starts and 2021 ends. So I have everything sketched out in pencil right now so that I can just trace over it during this like little video because I was nervous that I was going to like spell things wrong. So I guess we will start doing that. That makes me nervous, but we're going to start. Oh, let me go over all the stuff that I'm going to use for this. So all of my artsy fartsy things. These are the zebra midliners or fine liners. They're really good highlighters. This blue is what you see everywhere, but I think this year I'm going to do more of a gray theme than a blue theme. And then these are the pens I use the most. This is the Micron Pigma. And this is the one, which is pretty thick, but they also have like a 0.5, which is nice. And then this is a Jelly Roll black pen. These write really nice. And this is my recent find, is the Sharpie Felt Tip pen, which I've really enjoyed and it doesn't smear or anything. So I'm gonna be doing most of my tracing and stuff with this Sharpie pen because it just has such a nice point to it. I'm gonna do my best to like do it. Sometimes I just go crazy and I don't follow all the way and what I had, it's mostly just so I don't get distracted and forget how to spell things, but I do my best. And then if you want to make it look more like calligraphy or hand lettering, you just go down the sides again and make it look thicker even though it's not thicker because you're left-handed and you can't actually do that anywhere where you have like a downward stroke you just make that part thicker and then it looks like hand lettering even though it's really not so do that one again sometimes i think it makes it look more messy but sometimes i think it's worth it. And then here's my 2022 cover page. Um, since I put last year and this year into the same journal, I kind of felt like it needed to have a page to distinguish it from the last year. But I was watching one girl who was setting up hers and she just put like November 2021 to blank and then just left it blank and then was gonna go like fill it in whenever, but I prefer to do mine by the year. And before I decided to stay in this journal, and do a whole nother year in it. I did go through the pages and like count like, okay, I usually read 52 books or more in a year. I usually have like one or two pages per book if I write anything. And then I'm gonna have a cover page and this and that and all the other things, you know, in the beginning that I wanna have. So how many pages do I need? I did all of that counting and I decided that I had enough to keep this reading journal one more year. So that's what we decided to do. And then I was watching somebody else set up their um, bullet journal for the year and she did like these really nice dandelions and so I decided that I was gonna do these dandelions. And so I kinda like freehanded them on here. I don't know. I have <laughs> a little bit of artistic skill but like not really a lot. So this is like the best. This is the best that it gets. And I brought all my pens up here to color stuff in if I wanted to color things in, but I'm not sure that I will color everything in. It might be hard to see me do any of this since I'm left-handed. And I'm probably covering the page with my hands, but you have to excuse me if it's not a good quality like video to follow or anything because I've never done this before and I am learning. Like I said, I'm left-handed and we get the shaft all the time, so. I have no artistic skill and no video skill and I am just learning and flying by the seat of my pants. 
bit upset that the year is turned over already because I get very attached to my goals and I'm sad that the year is already starting over and I'm losing the 52 books that I completed this year. In the next year it's gonna wipe out and I'm gonna have to start over from zero. And that kind of makes me sad because I'm kind of attached to having completed this goal every year for the last four years. So it's kind of disappointing to like put all the work into it and then it's just like, okay, the year turns over, now start again. <laughs> Which I think is why I was so eager to get this journal going because if I had this like all set up, like maybe I would feel more prepared for like that turnover. But so far it has not alleviated that feeling yet. I drew this one first and I don't think it's as good as that one, which I drew second. But I just like, I saw a girl do this dandelion on hers and I was like, I could do a dandelion. And then I just Googled how to draw a dandelion and I just copied. Have no fear, I have a hefty eraser for all of this. So we will get to that. The girl who did this drawing used a much thinner pen than me, but like I said, I have no artistic skill, no education, and I don't know what I'm doing. If you want to see a good, like, medium one that's not, like, too, too crazy artistic but is still like really on has a theme and is really beautiful you can watch Brittany the bibliophiles she has one that's like black rose theme and it's really beautiful i watched that video today before i did this and i'll link the other like planner ones that i watched before i started this i didn't watch that many there's not that many like dedicated reading journal videos out there but i thought i would add mine to the mixture I guess I could like, well, no, I don't want to wrap it up because like, what if I read, what if I read like two more books or three more books in the next week? I want to make sure all of those are included in my wrap up page. I don't want anything to be left out. And that's, you know, a possibility since next week is Christmas and I might have time or be in desperate need of a distraction depending on how this goes. Not the greatest, not the worst. That's...
There we go. Okay. Here is where we're going to do our yearly goals. And I have already written it out very nicely. Basically, these are going to be like boxes and I saw this on Pinterest when I was looking at like examples for things. I saw this on Pinterest and they're like a little bit overlapping so I've like included all their like outlines already so that now that I'm on here we can just like trace what I already have in. And like this one and that one overlap so you have to start here. But then I'm just gonna like write in my fonts. And sometimes I'm like, oh, Emily, you should only do two fonts. And then it's like, but it kind of almost like, when you can only do two fonts, it kind of almost looks cohesive. Like you're almost like expecting it to just be those two. Like this is like the theme, like this is what it is. So it's kind of nice. So that's the first one. And you can see this one like kind of goes behind it a little bit. And then you like go around it. I might try and give these like a drop shadow or something because I just got these new um, Tombow um, dual brush pens. So I might try and give it like a drop shadow. We can try that out once we get all these boxes sorted in. So this is kind of the idea I'm going for. And then there's three more. And then I'm just gonna like write a goal maybe in color in each one of these. I kind of like the, um, I don't know if they're still calling it cottage core, but the, like the brown, the green and the black. So I might try and stick to that. I have some stickers and stuff too, but that we might add to these pages. Last year the only um, reading goal I had was read 52 books and that's basically the only reading goal I'm gonna have this year except I'm gonna add like maybe a YouTube thing to it or something. Okay, let's decide what colors, well maybe we should put them in there in our fonts first and then we will um, decide, you know, what they should say in each box. Or what color they should be. I know that I want one of them to be read 52 books, so we're gonna do that one here. Works. That's my first goal. The other goal that I already know is a goal is to read well nonfiction. nonfiction books. That's one nonfiction book a month and the idea is to just start one at the beginning of the month and read it whenever I have a chance or a feeling or anything to read it and hopefully finish it um, in that month. And I have, I honestly, I was going through all my owned TBR books earlier and I think I probably own 12 unread ones that I could just read. So that's that one and then this one I think will fit nicely in this tall box and I'm gonna do it in the tall Ray Dunn font.
YouTube subscribers. As of today, I think I have 28, so that's quite the jump. But I have heard that the hardest to get are the first 100, so I'm holding out hope. I can probably come up with two more. Maybe after I count up how many pages I've read this year, I'll add read more than however many pages I've read this year. Um, usually I don't up my reading goal every year because you never really know like what a year is going to bring and I like to just leave myself a goal that I feel is attainable in a year. And for the last four years, like I said, I've managed to read 52 books. So I never up it because you just never know like what the year is going to bring and what else you're going to have to do. And in the last two years of the four years that I have managed to do it, I have been planning a wedding and finishing a master's degree and working full time. So we don't like to mess with success. And I would call this a success. So we're not going to mess. We're just going to put 52 back down. Another year. Another year, another chance to be successful at that, so. brave and stupid of me to think that I could do all of this in one sitting. These two are blank for now, but that's fine. We'll move on to the next page, which is my Road to 52 books. And I want this to be bee themed. And I saw it on somebody's um like habit tracker that they had and it was bee themed and i was like i could draw fucking hexagons and it took me like literally an hour to draw all these stupid hexagons so that i could make it look like this so it took me a million years to draw i can draw all these and i want it to be bees and i want to do like a little black on the sides and so we're gonna try and do that but it is gonna take me about 10 million years to trace in all of these I might just like hold it one way and do like choo, 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 all the way down and stuff like like that kind of style so <laughs>
sure you're all blown away by my artistic wit and skill. <laughs> dual brush pens and the gray scale and let's flip to the back I made like a little color thing color swatches in here and I kind of think like maybe we'll do really black and then we'll use like this one to make the little like side on the box so we need 75 and 25 I have more of these coming I bought the pastel ones and they won't be here until probably closer or after Christmas. So for now, this is what I have. Should you erase this first before you draw around them? We're gonna drop scale this one, I think. Which side should we do? I would do it on the right side, like a lot of people do, but I'm left-handed, so I'm gonna do it. all of these pencils so we can come back and do a little bit of sketching um, on the inside of these little black ones. We might do like groups. I don't know. I'm not gonna color the whole thing in black. That's gonna take too much time. Be back. Okay, welcome back. It's actually the next day because uh, my camera ran out of battery and then the sun went down and there was no light. So now it's the next day and I've had to move this light over here so that we can do this because it's very dark and gray and rainy and gross out. So we're doing our best with what we've got today. I erased all of this all over somewhere else and we are going to fill 
this in with this black and I didn't know how I was going to do it. I thought maybe I would just like do some like in between. Hmm. Maybe I'll just do the edges. But not all the edges, maybe just this edge. Because I wanted to have it. this be washi tape. Okay, not horrible. I don't like the black, but I'm not gonna keep going just because I don't like it. Okay. So here's my series to finish page. I've already gone through and filled them in because I thought it would be boring for you to sit here and watch me write down these and like literally just bring them back from the other one and write them down again in basically the exact same order. So I pre-did that. this year with this gray one instead of the, you can see on my old one we have blue and I want um, gray this year so let's do that. We'll just flip back and forth. I did get rid of some of these because I was like I'm really never going to finish the Mortal Instruments series like I am basically too old for that. I say I'm too old for that, but I am gonna finish Nevermore, which is literally a children's book. I took his dark materials off of there because I heard that after the first two, it just gets like really nonsensical compared to the other ones. Like, you're like, okay, how did we go from like magical knife to this? No, I have never finished the Harry Potter series. I don't know what to say. So now I don't know if I should finish it because I can't talk about it on here. And if I can't talk about it on here, then I'm gonna have to read it and not talk about it. And then what's the point of reading it if you can't read it and talk about it? Because it's like, that's the point of reading books. But nobody wants to talk about her because she's being crazy. down after I finished them like immediately after I finished them and then I was like hmm you know what I don't think I liked this as much as I thought I did now that I look back on it. Okay so this one I already did because again it's just a lot of copying like the old books over to this one um and I thought that would be boring even in like five times speed so I did it all before um, and as you can see on my other one, a lot of these were like highlighted that I had read them or gotten rid of them. And so I took all of those off and I didn't bring them over. So this is like a fresh start for 2022. And I started this over here and accidentally spelled owned wrong. So then I had to put a sticker over it. So 
That's nice though, because this page will last me the entire year, so I get to see that sticker for the whole year. And then I left myself one blank page, because I think I filled up a page last time. Okay, so here's my specific books recommendations. And I don't know if I'm gonna copy all these over, because um, I think definitely the Italy one I'll copy over, because we're supposed to be going to Italy in 2022. So that one I'll definitely keep, but the rest of them I'm not 100% sure if they should stay there or if I should find a different place for them. Because, I don't know, I just, I wrote them all down so I could keep track of them, but then, like, I did never get around to them. Maybe I'll keep the one that's supposed to be, like, adults can do and get rid of the other ones. Because there's a lot on there, like, too many. And I'm keeping... Like a lot of those I think I would do for like a reading vlog and I'm keeping those in a different journal now, not a, not my reading journal, my, like a YouTube one, so. Okay, so here is where I decided to do all of the months back to back to back in this and have a page with the calendar and then also a notes page to just write my thoughts out on each one and here is where I will do like the highlighting for each one and I will put the little book names down here and so I've already gone through and I have written out the date or the month and then I have also like kind of like brought out the calendar here uh, for you so I'm just gonna trace all of these in here. stick with the uh I was thinking about this yesterday since I took some time between when I was doing this yesterday and doing this today I was thinking about it and I think I like the black brown green tan kind of style for this so that's what I think I'm gonna try and stick to it's almost like cottage core like the dandelions the bees the brown the green the black <laughs> funny though because Tombow has a pen pack like this one but it's called Cottage Core or it's called Cottage and I kind of want it because I think that would be fun. The good thing about these is if they're wrong I can just add boxes to them or black out the boxes that are like excessive. This year. I'm just gonna read whatever they want whenever they want and call it, you know, a wash on a reading goal, but I've kind of always been doing that. I've always only done 52 books, not any specific books, not I don't make TBRs for the month, I just read whatever I want to read. Any reading is good reading, so that has always just been enough for me that if I'm reading at all, it's because doing any reading at all that's enough because it's just reading all reading is good reading so it doesn't bother me that you know I didn't finish all the series I've started or I only read you know a handful of nonfiction books or I think it's good to have goals and I've successfully completed my 52 books goal every year for four years so maybe I could stretch it a little farther this year but you just don't know what a year is gonna bring you even when you start with goals you don't know what's gonna bring Should we drop shadow all of these? No, that would be hard. No, we can do the left side. That might be fun to do that.
finish these and erase the pencil so that we can finish this up. I think this is the last page before we would just get into like, all of these are like my blank pages for actual journaling. So this is the last page that has words that need to be traced. Now do we want to do a drop shadow on all of our, I just think it looks really nice on this one. So I think I could do it to all of my, I think I could do it to all of my uh, little pages here. Now we're gonna do some decorating. I'm not 100% sure what I wanna decorate. Where's the latex? I have lots of things to decorate with. Washi tape. I like this piece a lot.
decided that I would rather just have this be done um, instead of on hold and waiting for my 2020 uh, one wrap of stuff so maybe we will make a short video of me filling out my 2021 wrap up and talking about the books that I read from I think I did from January to June so July to December even though you've seen a lot of them um, in various videos but maybe I'll do that um, January is packed with videos so uh, I have to figure out which ones are most important still don't love this page but you know you get what you get sometimes. This one I'm really happy with the way it turned out. And of course this. I mean, it's just a giant list, but make it fancy. And not too long. This I really like. I'll put this out eventually. This is straight up crooked, but we're just dealing with it. I'm into the plant stickers. This one is boba themed. I really like this since I had stickers and a matching uh, washi tape. More stickers. Literally just stickers. I have no artistic ability, so we have only stickers. Hmm, let's get use a star. Let's get this one a star. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I know that there are a lot of really amazing, well done, artistic bullet journal videos out there, so I appreciate you taking the time to read my uh, below average left-handed one. I have zero artistic ability and this is really just something I like to not really worry about how neat it is or how nice it is. Um, like this is my new stuff, but like I like to not worry about how neat or nice things are. I like to just have it written down somewhere. I like to see my thoughts on all the books that I've read and generally when it gets into like just book things, um, it looks pretty nice in my opinion. I will keep the like line on the left hand side to separate this and then my bullet points because I think that makes it look nice and it's a good use of white space. But I'm looking forward to all the books that I can read in 2022. This will be my first like whole year of having this YouTube channel. So I'm excited to see like what a whole year of planning and time can bring. So I hope you're excited too. If you want to give this video a like and hit the subscribe button, I would really appreciate it. Shout out to my mom, my therapist, my husband, and my father-in-law who are the ones who watch most of my videos and are my core audience. I will catch you in the next video and I'll see you again soon. Bye! No, what will be the point of journaling if not making it a video?